calculate the following line integral. So our curve is going to be C. It's going to be the piece of the unit circle in the first quadrant moving counterclockwise. Then we want integral over C of x, y cubed, ds. Our first step is going to be to get a parametrization of C. So all we're looking for is a vector function. It's going to sweep out our curve with the correct orientation. So since I'm on the unit circle, natural choice is to use cosine and sine. We just have to make sure we're oriented right. So let's take a look. So if I use cosine sine going from t goes 0 to pi halves, so what happens? If I'm at t equals 0, that's going to give me 1 comma 0, which is here. If I put in pi halves, I'll get 0 comma 1, which is here. And then we see connecting those points goes in the right direction. So our parametrization is going to be given by this vector function. Next, to get ds, I'm going to need the length of the derivative of our function. So what do we do? I'm going to take the derivative, so it's going to be minus sine comma cosine. Sum squares, I get a 1. Square root gives me a 1. So when we go for ds, that's just going to be given by usually okay, the length of r prime times dt. So it's just going to be dt. Then finally, all I need to do is substitute in cosine and sine for x and y, and then I'll have everything I need. With that, we set up our integral. We note it's going to be a u substitution, u equal to sine of t, du equals cosine t dt, and then we could just follow our nose. So when we work things out, we'll note we're going to get a one-fourth. 